What's up guys, welcome back to video number 35 and let's go ahead and finish up creating our function we've been working on in the last two videos. So what I want to do is I want to go ahead and run an if else statement right here for our returned data to test to see if something is true. But if it's false, we can go ahead and execute something else. So come over here to our underneath our confirm underscore query line and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put it right no, I'm going to include this. So I'm going to, if this is true, and we'll get rid of this semicolon right now because we're not done with our statement. If this is true, let's go ahead and return our info, but let's go ahead and clean this up a little bit more. If this is true, let's go ahead and return our information. But if it's not true, let's return nothing. So we're going to use the null variable right here. And let's go ahead and save this. And so let me see where I'm at with my curly braces. So I've got one open, two open, three open, one close, two close, three close. Okay, so now we are done with our function that we created. So let's go ahead and grab it. And I'm going to go ahead. Actually, we can grab this whole thing. Right here. And let's go back to our content.php page and scroll up to the top. And I'm going to go ahead and put it right here. Here's our third PHP open and closing tags right here. I'm going to put it right here just like that. Okay, I'm going to close it out and hopefully you guys are following along. I'm going to end this video right here because the next video we're going to be doing quite a bit. Okay, so good luck with this. I'll see you guys in the next video.